What's up guys, Mikey with Padbangers.com. Welcome to a new sound check. Today we will have a look at Serato Sample, a new slicing tool by Serato based on the time and pitch um, algorithm of the DJ software they have for years out there. So that should mean excellent key detection, excellent tempo detection and really nice time stretching. So this is especially interesting for all you guys using machine because as we know machine has not yet implemented real-time time stretching. If Serato Sample will fix all your problems we will find out after the intro. Let's do it! Alright, first things first, you can get Serato Sample on the Serato website, which is serato.com slash sample. You can find a free trial there. If you want to buy it, then it's 99 US dollars. Um, it comes as a VST and audio unit, so it works with every major DAW. And you will also find some really good tutorials there, so make sure you check out the Serato website for a really easy start. Now, let's switch over to Ableton and get started and I already loaded a Serato sample here on a MIDI track. If you use Ableton you can load it to a drum rack and then use um, the drum rack mode on your push 2 if you like that. I'm using it on a standard MIDI channel. I choose my pad layout in sequential mode chromatic and that way the lower two rows of pads um, represent exactly the view of Serato sample which I show you right now so let's start with a with a little um, string sample here I just drag this in and I will see on the bottom row here these are the pads from Serato and these are exactly the same on the push 2 now let's start with the GUI real quick so as you can see the GUI is really clean and simple Unfortunately, it's not scalable. I hope there will be an update in the future that makes the GUI scalable. It's not yet critical on my screen, but I wouldn't mind if it would be a little bit bigger. So um, I hope um, they will update this in the future. Let's check out the functions here. On the top, we have a play button. We have two different modes for playing the, the slices back, which is a um, a gate mode and a trigger mode. So gate mode, as long as you hold the pad down, the sound plays. Uh, trigger mode, you would tap the pad one time and it plays through the track until you hit another pad. You can also switch from mono to poly mode, so you can play multiple sounds at once. Then we got the file name here with the tempo detected and the key. Also the playing time, an eject button to load other samples. Then here we come to the tuning system. Here you can see the key and you can easily switch the key by pitching down um, or pitching up the sample. So that makes it super easy to match the key of different samples and let them play together. There's also a detune feature so you can slightly detune the sound. Then we got the tempo button which is now synced to my host tempo. You can deactivate it and then choose your own tempo. Below that we got an overview of the wave file and we have options to zoom into the file. We can freeze the track so when it's it stays in this position otherwise it so yeah that works really nice. And then below that, that's the section that gets really interesting, which is the, the slicing section. And there are different modes how you can set your slices. The first mode is you do it manually. So I like to use the, the trigger mode here to do that. And I just zoom into the first downbeat and I hit a pad and it start playing. And then I can add more slices by hitting the specific pad. So let's do that real quick. 
I need to hit play. So, for example, now I have eight pads selected. So that works super easy. Now we can come in here and fine tune these slices. You can also drag out the end point of a slice to make it stop no matter if you're in gate or trigger mode. Starts a little bit slow. So that way you can easily set up your sounds. Um, now let's now the fun part starts where we can tweak it. So first of all we can pitch it up or down. And this is where the um, pitch and time algorithm of Serato really shines because there's basically very very less artifacts you can really pitch them to the extreme and it still sounds good <laughs> So yeah, that's really, really nice. That algorithm is probably the best on the market out there, hands down. And also the tempo detection is super accurate. I mean, there are no drums in this track, but if I let it run with some drums, it matches perfectly. Let's play back some sounds here. So yeah, that's really impressive how good the tempo detection works. Um, that's super fast to set up sounds and stuff like that. But there are some more features now to tweak your sound than just uh, pitching it up and down. For example, you can reverse a sound. Um, you can choose your level, your filter, attack and release. And this works per pad. So you can either go and select all and then use a filter. But you can also do this per, per pad, so you can start with a... So this works really nice. Also, you can reverse sounds. So that's also really cool. And of course you got an envelope to shape a little bit the amplitude of the sound. Uh, you also can pitch single bands. Let's say this one. Let's pitch this up. So you can, from a single loop, you can get a lot of different sounds. Also time stretching is available per pad. So let's say you have a really short note. Go back to zero. Really 
really nice. Of course, you can also delete sounds or delete all the slices at once. And now let's check out some of the different modes you can have there. Let's load in a drum loop or percussion. Now there's also a way to set this up more quickly. Let's say you have a rhythmic pattern here. You just zoom in and we set the first slice. And then we go to uh, set slicer. And now from here on, we can set the slicer and it sets 16 slices automatically in a rhythmic pattern. You can now change the length of each pattern, make it shorter or longer. And you can also move this grid around the sample. Like so. Um, this works actually really nice. You can also make this a little bit shorter to quarter notes. Yeah, and then you can get some real glitchy sounds. So this is the second mode. This works pretty fine. Then there's a third mode that's a little bit, I don't know, it didn't work too well for me. Uh, it's called fine samples. And basically what I think what they want to do is like um, a waveform detection somehow. So you hit these and automatically sets up 16 wave files. But when you look at this, um, I don't know what algorithm is there, but they advertise it as they will find the best um, the best places in your wave file to put a slice on, but actually that's not the case. Sometimes, in this case here, they find the transients pretty, pretty nice, but sometimes it's way off in just a silent place where they place a marker. I think this needs a little bit of improvement as far as the transient detection goes. Let's load maybe another file in where I can show you this a little bit better. Let's use this base file here and hit find samples. And as you can see now, I don't know why these are good places for slicers. So yeah, I mean, <laughs> And especially you don't have a marker on the first downbeat here. So yeah, find samples is a nice way to start. You can work your way from there pretty quickly, but it's not perfect. And I hope to see some improvements of the find samples algorithm in the future. And the last thing is the key shift pad. That's a really cool mode. For example, you have, let's say this pad right here, and you can put it in key shift pad. And that way it makes the 16 pads play it chromatically. And that's now especially cool when you use the poly mode, because that way you can make your own instruments really quick. Let's say we use a string here. All right, I wanna use this first sample here um, and mark this. And I mark the length of it. And I go to key shift pad and we go to poly mode. And you can play it in poly mode as a chord or yeah, oh, that's actually pretty nice to get some instruments really, really quick. All right, so here's my verdict on Serato sample. Let's start with the pros. First of all, the GUI is super clean and easy to understand. I didn't have to read the manual at all. Everything does exactly what it says. So that's a real plus. You just jump right in and get some really good results. Tempo and key detection are perfect. No matter what file you drop in there, it gets synced to the tempo perfectly. 
I tried it with a lot of samples and I never had any issue with that. So that's a real plus and I think Serato did a really good job there. Um, another plus in my opinion is the way you can work with slices. You can use a filter, you can uh, reverse it, use an envelope on it and basically you decide if your loop is pretty choppy gl for, for glitchy style or if it's pretty smooth and uh, just the plain loop it's all in your hands so that's really nice and i really like the key shift pad mode where you can um, use a sample and make basically an instrument out of it by pitching it over the 16 pads so that's really nice and that can give you some really nice instrument in no matter of time now for the cons, there's actually only one con I really have, which is the fine sample mode, which I think needs some more improvement, better transient detection, and especially with short files, um, they need to improve it. For example, if you have a really short sample and with a lot of transients, but most of the time the fine sample modes only sets like two slices in there. And this really needs to be improved. Aside from that, everything works fine. Another thing which is more, it's its not a con, it's something I wish for myself is make the plugin uh, a multi-output plugin so we can route um, slices to different outputs and process them even more. So for example, if you have a snare in your drum loop, give it another output and put some delay and reverb on that snare. That would be really nice to see in the future. Aside from that, I think it's a really good plugin, especially for you machine guys out there, because now time stretching and all that stuff works really, really easily. So yeah, go to serato.com, download your free trial and let me know what you think of it. Shoot me some comments and I hope to see you guys next time. MikePatBangers.com, peace out.